today we'll be doing circles and small angles within the topic of trigonometry. So today we'll be looking at solving or well, figuring out how to find the length of the arc and we'll go through it step by step so it won't confuse you. Okay, so this is a circle. This is in fact uh, just an equation that you do have to remember unfortunately but it's not too difficult. So this is the length of the arc represented by L. This is the radius, this is the centre of the circle as you know, and this is an angle called theta. So the equation that I want you to remember is that L, the length of the arc, is equal to radius times theta. Now the very important thing to remember, and a lot of students uh, forget, is that theta must be in radians, okay? So if the question gives you an angle in terms of degrees, then you have to change it into radians, okay? So make sure you remember theta is in terms of radians, length of arc is equal to radius times this angle, okay? Now let's try some questions. So first step is to uh, draw what they've stated here. So they've kindly given you a diagram here. So the question basically just tells you that the radius is 5 and this angle, which is in terms of radians, is 1.2. So all we have to do is to apply and substitute those values into the equation that we know, L equals R theta. Okay, so we're just going to substitute R is 5 and theta 1.2 in here. 5 times 1.2, your answer being 6. Therefore, you can say that the length of the arc is 6 centimeters. Simple enough. Okay, moving on, question 2. Okay, so they've given us another diagram. So they've given us an angle, pi on 5, they've given us radius, 85 metres, and we have to figure out what L is, length of the arc. So I know you've already thought about um, the next step, L equals R theta. So all you need to do is to substitute, okay? Uh, it, keep in mind that the question says find the exact length of the arc, so when they say exact we're going to leave it in terms of pi which is what the next step has done. So just simplify it and you get 17 pi meters. Okay, question three. Okay, this time we're finding the exact length, so same as the previous question. Um, they've just given us different values. They've given us a radius of nine and this time they've given us an angle at the center which is 40 degrees. Now do you remember that first step, remember, is L equals R theta, but theta is in terms of radians, isn't it? So since they've given us an angle in terms of degrees, we're going to have to convert that into radians. Now, so this is what they've done here. Now, I'm sure you remember how to convert degrees into radians, and this is exactly what they've done in this step. Simplify and you get 40 degrees changing into 2 pi on 9 radians. Excellent, so once we're able to do that, we can just substitute in, into L equals R theta. So L is what we want, isn't it? Length of arc. Substitute the radius 9 and the radian angle that we've just figured out and we get 2 pi centimeters. So remember, because it's exact value, we're going to leave it in terms of pi. Okay, question 4. So this is exactly the same as the previous question, isn't it? So here's just a diagram. Again, They've given us an angle 135 degrees, so we're going to have to convert that into radians. Okay, so remember, so this pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, so that's what we're going to write. And we want to figure out what the equivalent of 135 degrees is in terms of pi. So this is just what this step is. Simplify and you get 135 degrees, converting into 3 pi on 4 radians. So we know that we can figure out what L is by using the equation L equals R theta. L equals R theta, we know radius is 15, we've just figured out what the angle is in terms of radians, so all we need to do is to substitute. Now if you look at the question, the question says correct to two decimal places, so it's not exact. So what we're going to do here is to put it in the calculator Convert to two decimal places, so your final answer would be 34.35 meters. So make sure you read the question carefully because each question asks you to round off or leave an exact value, so it's very important that you do follow what the question asks you to do. Okay, moving on to question five. 
Okay, they've given us an angle which is kindly in radians, so no converting, and, and an arc of length 12 pi. We have to find the radius. Okay, we've got to find this radius. So, you're, you know the equation already, L equals R theta. We just have to substitute. Okay, so we know L, 12 pi. We don't know R, but we do know theta. So we're just going to make R the subject. So we're just going to divide throughout by 0 0.8 pi radians. And we get R is equal to this. Now, simple enough, we can just cancel out the pi's. And we get a simple answer of 15 meters. Good. Okay, moving on to question 6. Okay, again, they've given us a diagram, but make sure you do that because in an exam, they probably wouldn't have the diagram kindly there for you. So just familiarize yourself with drawing the diagrams yourself too. Okay, find the length of the radius of the sector of the circle, uh, correct to the nearest centimeter. Okay, so L equals R theta. First step, of course, is that the angle is 30 degrees, so we're going to have to convert that into radians. So we do this step and we get pi on 6 radians. Then we can use L equals R theta, just simple substituting, isn't it? Okay, so we want to know what R is. We know L, length of the arc, and we know the angle, which we just found here. And we get R is 8 times 6 on pi. It says here, correct to the nearest centimeter. So what you're going to do is to substitute into the calculator, 48 on pi, you'll get 15.278 nearest centimeter, so your final answer would be 15 centimeters. Okay, another question. Okay, the radius of a circle is 18 and the angle in the center is 100. Okay, so here's the diagram. So there are two parts of this question. First part, we've got to find the exact length of the arc, so the length of the arc, L. Okay. First step, you already know, is that because the angle is in terms of degrees, we're going to have to convert that into radians, okay? And when we do, we get 5 pi on 9 radians. Now we can use the formula L equals R theta and do some substituting. L is what we don't know, but we know R to be 18 and we know theta to be 5 pi on 9. So we get an answer, 10 pi. Okay, and that's the final answer. It says find the exact length. This is exact in terms of pi. Okay, the second part of this question is find the perimeter of the sector. So the perimeter of this sector, so this part of the circle, is simply the radius, the two radii, and the length of the arc. So simple enough, all you need to do is 18 plus 18 plus the length of the arc you found in the previous question. Okay, which is 36 plus 10 pi centimeters. Make sure that if they've given you a measurement in terms of centimeters, you write your final answer in terms of that same measurement. That's quite important as well. Okay, another question. Question eight. So radius of a circle is 10. Length of the arc here is four pi. This time we've got to find this angle here. Remember, which is in terms of pi radians. So, first step is referring back to this. So I'm pretty sure you've memorized this by now because you've seen it so much. So we want to make theta the subject, don't we? We're just firstly just going to substitute the values we know, make theta the subject, and we get theta equals four pi on 10, which is two pi on five radians. Okay, final question, question nine. So we have the radius of a circle is 5, length of the arc here is 8, and we have to find the angle of the sector here in degrees, correcting to the nearest minute. Okay, so first step always, L equals R theta. So we're just going to substitute values, and we get 8 equals 5 times theta, making theta, theta the subject by dividing throughout by 5, of course. And we get theta is equal to 8 on 5. This, of course, is in radians, isn't it? Because when we use this equation, theta is always in terms of radians. However, the question this time asks us to convert into degrees. So what we're going to do is, do you remember this here when we were converting from degrees into radians and radians into degrees? So the equivalent of um, 180 degrees in pi is pi. So we're going to write x, which is what we want in degrees, over 1.6, the radians that we know. Okay, so x is what we want to know. 
So we're just going to remember cross multiply. When we see an equal sign, we cross multiply. So that's exactly what they've done here. So 180 degrees times 1.6 over pi. So this moves up and this moves up. Do you remember? Okay, so it says correct to the nearest minute. So what we're going to have to do is to substitute this. We'll put this in a calculator and you'll get the final answer of 91 degrees and 40 minutes. Well done, you've been able to solve a lot of um, questions involving lengths of arc, um, radians, and also being able to convert radian degrees into uh, normal degrees. So, well done.